things I, I talk about is that people say that there's a there's a schism between the Republican and, and, and Democratic Party. In a sense, there's a deep schism, um, and there's a there appears to be an unwillingness for people to work. But in my mind, there's there's a, it's a handful of people that's doing that, and it's making uh, Boehner's job as speaker very difficult. But if Boehner had the same mentality as um, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi, when she became speaker, she told the Democratic caucus in our, in our private meeting right after she was elected, she said, I appreciate your vote and your support for speakership, but I want to make one thing clear. I'm the speaker of the House, not the speaker of the Democrats or the Republicans, I'm the speaker of the House. And by that, we're going to try to work all the bills together and make sure we get the best action out of both sides. So to me, that was a very um, mature and, and leadership type of thinking. Uh, with Boehner, I, I'm sure he, he feels that way, but he can't. He just doesn't. He just can't find ways to, you know, get a hold of that. He's done it two or three times. One time he did that. He worked with us on passing the Violence Against Women Act. It was about 285 votes, 286 votes, and I, I just says, whoa. <laughs> That's really great. So what he did was, he just talked to our leadership and said, I'll bring my votes up, you bring yours, and we can pass this. He did it once with a, a cross-the-board uh, cut back in about three years ago when the Tea Party said, we want a, we want a 5% across-the-board cut. And that's after two cuts of the budget already. And the leadership of the Democratic Republican Party says, we, we can't put up with that. And they said very quietly to our leadership, we'll put up our votes, you put up your votes, and we'll defeat this one. We're not going to change the other two cuts. We just can't do this one. And so that happened. So I, I think uh, the, uh, the Speaker of the House can work with the, Repub the Democratic Party and some of his cohorts to move this, uh, move this uh, Congress forward. I, I mention this because... I've worked with Boehner before, and I've worked with people like uh, Secretary LaHood, uh, Transportation Secretary. He was a Democrat, Republican that retired a, a couple years ago. Then he became appointed uh, Secretary of Transportation, and that was good, because I had a good relationship with him. And I told him about BART, and I told him about how we fund BART and how we fund the local projects here. The federal budget usually says if the federal government is going to be involved in transportation uh, projects, the federal government put 80 cents to the dollar, and you guys come up with 20 cents, whether it's state or local. What we did here is we have 79 to 80 percent local support, and then we seek 20 percent from the state and from the feds. And he thought that that was pretty cool. And I said, just think, all the extra projects you can do if this were a federal uh, policy, uh, you could you could fund more projects throughout the country, and we're a self-help uh, mentality uh, county. It turns out that um, he started sending out his assistants out to our projects here, and started you know really getting into the nitty gritty, and he found that it was true, and so we we're applying for a nine hundred million dollar uh, uh, grant to extend part from uh, Warm Springs to San Jose. And that happened. And with that, you know, probably at the, at the inception, it created about 10,000 new jobs and, and work. But over the years, it will consistently provide enough uh, sufficient funding for about 5,500 jobs uh, on an annual basis.